Hey guys, Kent here, uh, 19402 Aquatic Drive Pool School. I think this is number five, actually. Your pool has a chemical dependency. I know it sounds bad, but it is true. If you want your pool to look like that, then you are going to have to keep feeding it its chemicals or it's not going to be happy. Anyway, um, these are just the basics. Now, being a salt pool, the main thing you're going to be doing is putting muriatic acid in it all the time. That's this stuff right here, blue whale muriatic acid. Um, it's just, you'll go through different types. It doesn't matter. Muriatic acid is muriatic acid and it's nasty stuff. You do not want to breathe the vapors from this stuff. Normally what I do when I open the, I take a deep breath, I open the bottle, I pour in. It generally takes probably a cup to a cup and a half a week or so for this size swimming pool. And I, when the pump is on, I, I pour it in then, but I hold my breath the whole time. And I try to stay out of the cloud because it is nasty stuff. If you breathe this stuff in, your lungs will just stop. They will not accept it, and it is really nasty. So I can't, I can't, um, I can't warn you enough to be careful with this stuff. It will burn your skin. It will eat holes in your clothes, and it is, it is really nasty. So anyway, but you will be using this stuff primarily. So just uh, be careful when you use it. Um, wear eye protection and wear rubber gloves, and just be careful with this stuff. It's nasty. The other main thing you'll be using is uh, a nice shock of some kind. I just use this one. It's from Leslie's. Uh, I go to Leslie's because it's close and they always have the stuff I need. But anyway, um, generally I'll take two of these bags and I'll, uh, once a week, I'll just, uh, after I've cleaned the pool, I'll sprinkle it all in there. Just follow the instructions on it. It, uh, uh, it's a chlorinator and sanitizer. Keeps your pool nice and clean. Now there will be a little bit of a sediment that's left behind once this stuff uh, dissolves, but that's easily just vacuumed up. It's no big deal. Do not swim uh, or use your spa for at least 24 hours after shocking um, because it will burn you and you will not like it. So be careful with that stuff too. There are any number of pool uh, alkalinity and pH and salt level and conditioners and uh, testing equipment that you can use. Um, it's kind of fun for a while, but um, actually I got to the point where, you know, I had this pool for 16 years, so I got to the point where I really didn't need that stuff. Um, if I wanted to get pool tested, I would just, uh, I would take some water over to Leslie's and they would do a free test for me and tell me exactly what I needed to do. This last guy, this shark looking guy, it's sharky. Um, if for some reason your, uh, your, um, chlorine generator fails you're going to want to put uh, chlorine in in the swimming pool or you're going to start seeing algae grow very quickly so what this does this is this holds the uh, chlorine cubes or the chlorine cakes i guess and you just uh pop them in there pop them in there and let them float around and just let them stay in there and then you're just going to have to monitor your your chlorine levels with one of those and there the instructions are in there. It tells you exactly how to do it. It's kind of fun. Um, also, um, once a year, you're probably going to want to use a conditioner in the pool. Leslie sells it. You can either buy liquid or you can buy granular. The granular goes right in the skimmers with the pump on. But I use the liquid. you got to shake it up because it gets a lot of sediment in it. But it comes out like, um, like milk of magnesia. And you just pour it right in there. And it, uh, it makes the the water nice and soft but it also prevents uh, a rapid rapid chlorine loss and it will stabilize your pool anyway that's about it. all i got today for you this is just 101 stuff and uh, if you have any questions you know how to get a hold of me have an awesome day bye bye